Hello, lovely internet strangers. As I'm sure you all know, Valentine's Day is this weekend. I decided to make sure this week's video acknowledged that fact. And so today we are going to talk about OkCupid's non-traditional Valentine's Day cards. This is also going to serve as my very light introduction to OkCupid and all the adventures I've had on that site and how it has changed over time. OkCupid used to be an amazing dating site, in my opinion, especially if you're looking for something specific or non-traditional. Over time, they made a series of changes that were completely stupid, broke functionality of the site, and ultimately attracted really low quality people to the site. All kinds of low quality people, but especially the kinds of low quality people that would appreciate these non-traditional Valentine's Day cards that we are about to discuss. I don't go on OkCupid that often these days. COVID has made it hard to meet up with people, so my husband and I's poly dating life is kind of on hold at the moment, which is fine. But OkCupid wanted to make sure that I did not miss out on these amazing cards. So they sent me an email notifying me of them and I was like, what the actual fuck am I looking at? Oh my god, I'm gonna make a video about these. I should probably make clear before we continue that this video is NSFW. All right, as you can see, they state proudly, these aren't your traditional Valentine's Day cards because who would want that? They have cards to celebrate every type of situationship, even the kinds that make some blush. We are proud that we support all kinds of connections and love on OkCupid for all people. So we thought we'd create some Valentine's cards that celebrate all kinds of love and lust too. Don't want to be too heteronormative in our celebration of lust now, do we? We partnered with a range of artists to create cards that are exclusively inclusive. What the fuck? does that mean? Exclusively inclusive and free to share and send because we wouldn't want a few dollars to get between you and telling your loved one how much you appreciate them on this holiday. Whether you're celebrating your on and off partner of five years, a COVID hookup buddy, or whatever your situationship is, we have a card for you. Text, email, and or share on Instagram. Everyone is welcome here except Trump supporters. Happy Valentine's Day, beautiful. All right, let's get to these exclusively inclusive cards, shall we? You can already see them below. I know you're excited to see the full gallery. So the first card on the left there is for the friends with benefits situationship. It says, I like our friendship, but I love the benefits. Happy Valentine's Day. And they helpfully include the artist there so that if you like their work, you can go find more of it. Now, the next card here on the right is for the BDSM card. Crowd. We have a bond like no other. Actually, can you loosen my handcuffs just a little? Aw, look at that beautiful illustration of love. So onward. On the left, for the gay crowd, it's impossible to top you, which is why I'm the bottom. And yes, that illustration does show two men's junk rubbing together. That is what the card is illustrating, just so you know. And it is very inclusive because they are both men of color. Should I even assume they're men? Maybe one of them is non-binary. Who knows? In today's age. And on the right, for the rabid leftist environmentalist crowd, my love for you is like climate change. There's no denying it. Wow. Like this is the kind of car that one smug leftist gives to another smug leftist and they both chuckle about how enlightened they are. Let's celebrate our love while also sneering down our noses at climate change deniers. I feel so connected to you, babe. Now for the lesbian, bisexual, queer, whatever crowd, we have this Valentine's Day, let's stay in and eat out. But um Wow, these are just getting better, guys. Probably should have poured myself some bourbon for this one, but I'm doing a sober stint at the moment. Next, for the long distance crowd. They say love knows no distance, but I gotta tell you, I'm tired of jerking off on FaceTime. You can see in the illustration he's missing a sock, so I assume that's because he was using the sock in his masturbation practices. I'm really happy that I can bring this video to you guys without worrying about being demonetized because my channel is not big enough to be eligible for monetization, so we don't have to worry about that here. Let's proceed. For the gender fluid crowd, my love for you knows no bounds, particularly male or female ones. Wouldn't want to reinforce the gender binary on Valentine's Day, now would we? Now this one on the right I find very confusing. It says, I'm yours because neither of us can afford the rent alone. Is this talking about like roommates that have a relationship after they become roommates? Or is this talking about people who are dating and they only move in together because they can't afford to live alone and they don't want to live with roommates? Neither 
of those situations is particularly romantic, but okay, there's a card for you. Text it to them right now. Don't waste any more time. I assume this one on the left is for the angry political feminist crowd. It says, all I want is you to pronounce Kamala right. I don't even know if I pronounced her name correctly and I don't give a shit. So there you go. If someone sent this card to me, I would tell them to go fuck themselves. The one on the right is for people I assume are in a poly triad or are just poly dating and have two partners. It says, you're the only two for me. Happy Valentine's Day, lovers. Saying you're the only two for me would imply that they're not open. They are polyfidelitous, as people would put it. They have multiple partners, but they are committed to only those partners. This is actually the least weird one on this entire list. I still think it's cringy as all hell, but I understand its existence and it actually seems to be celebrating love. Now, some of these cards are ones I think you could seriously send to someone, like that last one, or even the ones that were about gay and lesbian sex. But this one on the left here, I'm like, really though? You would not actually send this to someone, would you? Like the existence of this card in and of itself has to be a joke. To the guy I have meaningless sex with, if I had feelings, I'd have them for you. And she is surrounded at her feet by a bunch of cats. They're owning the cat lady stereotype. I don't need you for a relationship. I just need you for your dick. My cats will keep me warm at night. This one on the right, you should send to your sexting partner. To the best sexed partner I've ever had. Please delete that last one. Like, is this supposed to be funny or awkward or both? I just, ugh. Cringe. Not sure exactly who this one on the left is for. You are my sun, my moon, and my reason to get out of sweatpants. I guess this is for an introvert or someone who works from home or something and their partner is the only reason that they put on outside clothes and I, I don't know. Definitely non-traditional. But you know, I think you can be non-traditional and still be romantic. But maybe I'm just old fashioned in my non-traditionalness. What the fuck do I know? Now this one on the right is a total joke. It makes no actual sense. You could not send this to anyone because this is a Valentine's Day card for your vibrator. To the one who drives me wild. Yeah, no. If you're at that point where you're reading that and like chuckling to yourself, that's just sad. You are at a low point. Get some help. If you want to give a card to someone that you just met yesterday, they have a card for that. I'll always remember the day we met. Yep, yesterday was awesome. I'm bisexual. If I went out on a date with a chick and the next day she sent me that e-card, there would not be a second date. That's just one bisexual woman's opinion. Now this one on the right, I could see being kind of funny if you've been in a relationship for a long time and you just wanna send a kind of joke card. It says, you'll do, happy Valentine's day or whatever. Like this is the kind of thing I could see my parents like sending to each other. One time I was on the phone with my dad and he said something about how he and my mom were not soulmates. And in the background, I could hear my mom yelling, he's still out there somewhere. So this is something I could see someone who's been in a long-term relationship kind of like sending as a joke, but it kind of just speaks to that whole sentiment of like, well, I'm not gonna find anyone else better. And I'm just gonna kind of like settle with you, even though I'm not like that passionately into you. Here we are. Definitely non-traditional. Again, I think you can still be romantic romantic and non-traditional, but okay. This one says, be mine, but don't like put a label on it. This one's clearly for the woke millennial who like isn't gonna let their relationship drag them down, you know, because like this is the modern age and we just gotta like be free and I gotta like focus on my career and you know, my Instagram business. And then in 20 years, I'll totally be able to find someone and totally won't just be stuck with my cats or really low quality people, whatever. It's awesome. This card on the right is for those who met on OkCupid. Okay Fate brought us together. Just kidding, it was OkCupid's okay algorithm. I could actually see my husband sending this one to me because I'm the kind of person who likes to be like, Fate and isn't it amazing how we met and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I mean, you know, it was an algorithm. It was just random luck. This one's for your booty call. On Valentine's Day, I just have three little words. Hey, you up? I mean, I hope you're not expecting them to respond to the e-card and like come over. The illustration for this one is so weird. Like this person's body is just like totally out of proportion. Don't know what I'm supposed to take from this. Their head is so small. Like what the actual fuck are we looking at here? This one on the right was specially made for the era of COVID. I've never felt so close to someone who I was so socially distant from. I'm wearing sunglasses so you can't see me rolling my eyes, but I'm rolling my eyes. And with that, we have come to the end of these amazing Valentine's Day cards. So I will put the link for these cards in the description because I know that some of you are really gonna want to to send one of these to your loved one on Valentine's Day. Maybe rewatch this video in case you missed one of the good ones.
ones. Really take your time picking them out. Anyway, like I said, at some point I do plan to make more videos about OkCupid, but all I have to say for right now is that I am not surprised in the least that they made cards like this because there are actually quite a lot of people on the website who would really love cards like these. The kinds of people that might be depicted on these cards. People who have profiles that say things like, I spent a lot of time thinking about how to smash the patriarchy. People who answer questions like, is it important that my partner do anti-racist work with? Yes. People who say that they're gender queer, they're just looking for queer friends. God help the people like myself who are LGBT and poly and go looking on this site but do not happen to be woke. The terrors that you will find on this site in the demographics of people that you would otherwise be interested in is truly awful. But I thought that we could take that awful and have a nice little chuckle at it today. As much as I like making my serious videos with all of my amazing insights, sometimes I like to just take a break, laugh at things, show you the absurdities that I see that you might not otherwise have come across in your corner of the internet. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed coming on this journey with me. I hope you did not lose your lunch. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I hope if you do send a Valentine's Day card that it is meaningful and not nearly as cringy as all the cards that you just saw in this video. And I'm going to end it there so you can stop seeing these stupid cards flashing in the background. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And I hope to have more content for you very soon.